Hey guys, welcome back to Smith Outpost. Today I am going to be walking you through how to update your BIO setting on your gaming PC in case you're having issues like your USB drives keep disconnecting, you all of a sudden hear your beep in your headset and you're like, I've disconnected all of a sudden, or your mouse or keyboard just stop, they just stop automatically and you're like, what's happened? Or even your Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi is continuously dropping and it's not actually Wi-Fi related or you're actually hardwired into the back of your PC, those are likely issues that you're having with your motherboard. Um, so I'm going to walk you through a how to update your BIO settings. This particular BIO setting is going to be on an AS Rock motherboard. We run CyberPower PCs mostly in our house. We actually have four of them. Um, but if you've ever had to call CyberPower support, um, they're going to tell you to mail it in. And I don't want my gaming PC flying off because, well, I, I want to continue gaming. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how to update your BIOS settings on your CyberPower PC, or any PC for that matter. Um, so the first thing that you are going to need to do is you're going to need to grab a USB drive. Second thing you're going to need to do is you are going to go ahead and need to disable if you have disk encryption enabled, and that includes BitLocker. Um, so I will put some links in the description below on how to go ahead and disable BitLocker. I'm um, not going to walk you through that process here today because I do already have my BitLocker um, disabled on my PC, um, but you will need to, to disable any, any type of disk encryption that you do have enabled on your PC. Um, also make sure that when you grab your flash drive, you grab something that's on the smaller side and that you're okay with removing everything on it because um, we are going to have to clear this off because we are going to have to make this a FAT32 formatted um, USB drive. Okay, um, so this is a, I think this is an 8 or a 16 gig um, USB flash drive. You need to pick a smaller one um, because that is what this is going to support. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug in this USB drive and we're going to go ahead and we're going to format it to FAT32. So go ahead and plug this into the back of your PC or if you have a docking station, go ahead and plug that into there. All right, guys, so we've gone ahead and we've plugged in our USB drive. Um, so I am going to go ahead and select my file explorer. Um, if you don't have your icon at the bottom, we always pin ours. Um, but you can go ahead and type in file explorer. And it's going to pop up here. So we're going to go ahead and select file explorer. And then you're going to go ahead and click on your USB drive. You can see I already have my BIOS information on here. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. Um, you can go ahead and select your USB drive. It may be a different drive letter. That's okay. Um, so go ahead and right click on it and you're going to hit format. Okay, so once you're in here to format, the one thing that you're going to want to be sure that you make sure of is the file system here is selected to FAT32. Um, that is going to make it compatible with our BIOS update that we're going to be running here in just a little bit. Um, so that's already selected. Make sure that you have quick format enabled. You're going to go ahead and click start. It's going to give you a warning that you are clearing off your disk. If you need to back out now and grab a different one, make sure you hit cancel. If you're ready to proceed, go ahead and hit OK. Um, so that's going to go ahead and that's going to format that um, USB drive into the FAT32 format. We're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, so we went ahead and we have our USB drive that's still plugged into our PC already formatted to FAT32. Um, so our next step is to determine what our brand and our model of our motherboard are, okay? Um, so to do that, we're going to pop down here to our search, and we're going to go ahead and do um, system information. Um, so go ahead and select system information. All right, um, so up here at the top, we have a system manufacturer, okay? That's going to be your motherboard. Um, so that I can see here that our motherboard is manufactured by ASRock. And our system model is the B650M-C, okay? So that's what you're going to need in order to update your um, BIOS information. This is very important, guys. Um, most of your motherboards, when you actually go into do the BIOS updates, it's going to go ahead and make sure that... Um, the uh, BIOS update is actually compatible with your motherboard. However, um, if you make any mistakes during this process, it is possible to brick your PC, guys. You would have to replace the motherboard, um, and it's a huge mess. So make sure that you're choosing the correct model number uh, before you start the process. And once this process starts, do not interrupt it. Um, once you go into the BIOS settings, it's going to give you all kinds of warnings. Don't unplug your USB drive or reboot. Um, but just know that ahead of time, once you start the process, you need to stick with it. It doesn't take that long. 
Um, but once you start it, don't stop it. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop over here to Google and we're going to search that motherboard. Okay. So we are searching for the AS Rock B650M-C BIOS update. Okay. So go ahead and hit enter. Um, I can see here that Google is taking me over here to the AS Rock, AS Rock website, which is correct, right? That's our manufacturer. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select that. All right. Um, that looks familiar. That is definitely the motherboard that is inside my PC. Okay. So now what we need to do in all these processes are pretty much similar to um, each one of the motherboard manufacturers. They all typically have a support or a download section for each model of the motherboard uh, because BIOS updates are really common, guys. Um, as different things get patched, they come out with BIOS updates, and you can go in there and you can update those system components that are having issues on the motherboard itself. Um, so for our model of motherboard, I know that I need to click on support. Um, I can see here now it says BIOS. All right, so we are going to be doing the instant flash method. There are some system or some uh, motherboards that do support a Windows version of being able to update your BIOS. My specific motherboard does not support that method, so I actually have to download um, that BIOS um, update and actually extract the files and then place it on that USB drive and then pop over into my actual BIOS settings during um, the boot process of um, my Windows operating system. Okay, um, so to do a BIOS update here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select global and that's going to go ahead and download the latest version of my BIOS update here. And that was done here on 329 of 2024. That's the latest version. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download the global version here of um, my BIOS update. I can see that it has downloaded. Um, so I'm going to do the show in folder. Um, you can see I've already done this a couple times. Um, but you're going to go ahead and you're going to extract these files, guys. Okay, so go ahead and extract the file. Okay, so here is the actual file that your BIOS update is going to need. Um, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to right click on that extracted file and you're going to copy it and you're going to paste it over onto your USB drive. So I have my USB drive here. My drive letter is E. Your drive letter may be different than mine, so don't let that alarm you if it is different. Um, you're just copying the file over to your USB flash drive, okay? Um, so right click. We're going to go ahead and paste that file here. It might take a little time um, for the actual BIOS update to transfer over. Um, once that is done here though, then we're pretty much ready to go with our process. Remember, hopefully you've already disabled all of your disk encryption. Um, if it is enabled on your PC, it's not always enabled. So don't let that alarm you if you don't have BitLocker enabled on your PC. Um, so once you have disabled BitLocker, you're pretty much ready to start into um, a restart. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut all these windows down. Um, and what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go to start and you're going to go to restart. And you're going to need to have your finger ready um, because you're going to need to start hitting F2 once your PC restarts because that's going to actually take you into your BIOS screen of your PC. Okay. And that BIOS screen of your PC is going to look like this. <clears throat> so you've hit F2. Okay. And you're probably here in the main menu of your, your BIOS screen. Okay, mine is the AS Rock. Yours may look different than this if you have a different motherboard um, manufacturer. Um, so for us, for our AS Rock, you're going to navigate over to um, Tool. Okay, and then you're going to navigate down here. So you have the UEFI Update Utility, and we have Instant Flash. Okay, um, so once you select Instant Flash, it's going to go ahead and grab that USB drive, and it's going to grab the version that you have placed on your USB drive. And once you are ready, this is this is your point of no return, guys. So if you're if you if you don't want to do it, um, this is your time to kind of back out. OK, so you're going to go ahead. If you're ready to go, you're going to hit update. OK, and so update is going to take you over to the next screen. OK, so your next screen is going to give you one more chance. Are you sure you want to do this? Remember, do not interrupt this process. Once you click yes here, um, that can break your um, motherboard and you're not going to be very happy. Um, so I've warned you several times now, once you start the process, do not stop the process. Um, so once you are ready, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click yes. 
And it's going to give you the nice warning here, guys, that I keep repeating over and over is do not power off during the UEFI update. Okay, that is your BIOS update um, that we've pushed over to that USB drive. Do not interrupt the process. It'll take a little bit to run. So if you're antsy, get up and go do something and come back to your um, PC. Um, but don't interrupt the process. Don't shut it down. Don't pull out your USB drive. Let it run. All right. All right, so once that process is done, it's instant flashed. Um, your BIOS settings are all updated to the latest manufacturer updates. Um, you should get some type of a success warning um, for the AS Rock. It's going to say programming success. Uh, please enter to reboot system. Okay, so you're going to hit OK. Um, that's going to reboot your PC. It's going to come up like normal for your Windows um, authentication. And then hopefully you are issue free at that point. If you are not issue free at that point, unfortunately, there's probably something going on with your motherboard and you're going to have to call CyberPower PC or whoever your PC is manufactured by um, and go through their support process and probably have to mail it in and go through the whole process. Um, or if you're tech savvy enough, just replace the motherboard for 150 bucks and call it a day. Um, but this is the process guys for how to update your bio settings hopefully this gets you back up in gaming make sure that you like and subscribe we're going to be doing videos like this all the time guys to help you support your gaming pcs so make sure you come back and join us here again here on smith outpost